Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Eric Surf 6. Welcome to Eric Meal Time. And in today's episode, it's going to be unique Indian food. Let's have a look. What's unique about it? They've got this. It's a type of crepe that you use to dip into the curry. Yeah, that's right. Let's go in. This is a very popular drink. It's called Lashi. It's very sweet and very sour. Yeah, it's like a yogurt drink. I think it needs to be stirred up. Okay, we've got it well mixed and chilled now. Let's try it again. Ooh, it's like a sour milkshake. This is delicious. Much better on take two. The appetizer has arrived and this dish is called Pani Puri. So what you do is you put the soup inside of the dumpling or the deep fried whatever it is. A bit more. Ooh, it looks really interesting. All right. I hope it doesn't make a mess. It's one bite, that's what it is. Mmm. It's salty and sour. Mm. It's like a soggy cracker, is what it tastes like. It's interesting. I do kind of like it, because I'm especially hungry right now. So the spice in here, I believe there's red peppers, and there's also a mint. And the cracker is, it's not crunchy. There's almost no crunch at all. It just sort of dissolves in your mouth. The next appetizer is a beans and yogurt dish with a little bit of crunch on top, it seems like. Indian style nachos. Definitely a dairy product. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's good. Kind of is like a deep fried nacho, soft nacho, but very heavy flavor with the yogurt. There's some fruit inside as well too. This is almost dessert-like. Wow. Oh my goodness, the smell of this dish is overpowering. It smells amazing, and guess what it is? It's vegetarian shish kebab. Oh, wow. It's mixed vegetable shish kebab. Oh, goodness. It really does smell like amazing meat. I don't know, though. Vegetarian shish kebab. Is there such a thing? And this is the magical sauce, tamarind sauce. A real tangy sauce. Okay, going in. Tastes like rice and mashed potatoes. Mm. Mm. I mean, it looks amazing. It looks incredible. It looks like it's going to be so delicious and it smells perfect. Even the sauce doesn't help it. It's mushy. Not feeling it. It's too tangy. It's too spicy. This does not help it. It's healthy. There's a lot of vegetables. That's the constellation. Not much taste to it. There's a little bit of spice, but I guess when they call something shish kebab and you don't get any meat, it's kind of a jip. You know, but definitely a healthy way to eat vegetables. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. This dish is called tandoori ali or tandoori stuffed potatoes. That's pleasant. <clears throat> Much better than that last dish. A real potato. Love that tandoori flavor. Mmm. That's hearty. Mm, good potatoes. Yep. It's a lovely flavoring for potatoes, and they're cooked just right. Nice and crisp on the outside. 
Well done. Mm. Oh yeah. Can you guess what this is? This is another tandoori dish. It's called tandoori gobi or cauliflower. Mm. It's cauliflower. Yeah, tandoori cauliflower. I'm not a big fan of cauliflower, but tandoori, yes. Ooh. Wow. The tandoori flavoring is just it's overpowering. Mm. Oh, nice. There's a meat-like texture to it. Mm. Cauliflower is amazing. Mm. What you can do to just change the plainness of it. This one comes with a side salad, and it looks like it's got that tamarind dressing on it again. Tangy dressing. It's got lots of bell peppers in it. There's lettuce, cabbage in here. Mm. It's a tasty dish. You know, tandoori cauliflower. Fabulous. And I don't even like cauliflower. The curry has arrived. Look at this. Got two different types of curry. This is a bean curry here. And this is a donut, a rice based donut curry. Those are just two donuts inside here. And it comes with this monstrosity. This is called dosa. Kind of similar to naan. No, it's more similar to a crepe actually. So, yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah. It's kind of nice. You can roll it up so you can see the crepe like texture there. Yeah. Oh, it's fancy, huh? Yeah. Not like this. Which one should we try first? We'll go with the beans first. Those are some big beans. What kind of beans are those? I don't know, they're looking good. It smells amazing. Yeah, so this restaurant is vegetarian. There's no meat to be had in this restaurant. So, sorry, meat eaters. You see the beans in there? It's very bland. <clears throat> it's the most bland dish so far. I was expecting so much more. <laughs> it's like a it's like a bean tortilla. In fact, it's exactly like a bean tortilla. And that's all that's on it. You know? But sometimes simple can be best. Mm -hmm. Next up is the donut curry. It's a rice donut, so not a sweet donut. Ooh, steam coming off it. We like that. And we'll get some of the curry on top of it. Interesting, very interesting. So it's a rice donut, not a yeast or flour donut. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of bread-like. Yeah, no, it tastes like a wheat donut. Not sweet at all. Kind of like a bland cake. <clears throat> it's like eating a donut made from wheat bread mm -hmm. or wheat rice. So there it was, unique 
Indian cuisine. So on my rating scale between one and six curry donuts, this time I'm gonna have to go three. I'm gonna give it a meh, meh curry donuts. It's a meh. I think that Indian food is delicious. I actually, I absolutely love Indian food, but this type of unique Indian food, it's just not for me. So there it was, you saw it. I'm glad I tried it. I like to show different kinds of things, so there it was. I hope you enjoyed it. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy curry donuts. And as always, I look forward to reading your comments. We'll see you in the next one. I've got a riddle for you. How do you escape from a room with no doors or windows? There's only a table and a mirror in the room. Here's how it goes. You look in the mirror, you see what you saw. You take the saw, you saw the table in half. Two halves make a hole, you crawl out the hole, and you're out. <laughs>